United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Our uh, chairman today is uh, missing because her daughter just had an operation yesterday. So um, I'd like to um, move forward and uh, ask our secretary, Abby, to call the roll for the meeting. So if you're muted, please unmute so you can respond. Sorry, I just need one second. It's not pulling up for some reason. Pull the mic down, Abby. Sorry, I just need one second. It's not pulling up my agenda for some reason. I had it up and I accidentally closed it. Apologies. I don't understand. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Apologies about that. Uh, Michelle Gentine. Here. Lisa Merrick. Lisa? Okay. Karen Houston? Here. Uh, Michelle Warner? Here. Uh, Betty Ackley is absent. Bill Bussert? Bill? Okay. Nicole Bredesen? Nicole? Mike Heimbach? Here. Kate Hodges? Kate? Here. And Christine Potter? Christine? She waved. Okay. Okay. Here. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and we should note that uh, uh, Gretchen Houston has joined our group. Gretchen is, uh, is filling in for Karen Houston today. And uh, we look forward to having her added to our group. Uh, next uh, is to a motion to approve the minutes of the July 29th meeting. Mike, you want to move? I'll move to approve the minutes. Is there a second to that motion? Joe, I need a second. You want to sit up here by microphone? Okay, very good. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Now, because our chairman isn't here, I'd, uh, we put a note here to elect a vice chairman for the group. Uh, I'm just wondering if anybody would like to volunteer for that role. I'll volunteer, Mike Heimbach. Mike, thank you very much. Uh, would someone like to make a motion to uh, approve uh, Mike Heimbach is the vice chair of the organization. So moved. Okay, I have a motion to approve. Is there a second? I'll second it. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle. All those in favor of approving uh, Mike Heimbach as vice chairperson, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion. Aye. Motion passes. Mike, I'll turn over the uh, microphone to you for the rest of the meeting. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, the next item on our agenda is the update from the survey subcommittee. Uh, is somebody ready to report on that?
I'm not aware that the survey subcommittee had a meeting. Okay, uh, then we'll okay. Uh, we'll table that for now. All right, well, let's move on to the next item then, and that was an update from the online assessment subcommittee. Kate, do you want to go ahead? Joe, you want to hit the button in front okay. of your sheet there? Um, Just push the button. So excuse my bird in the background, but um, I believe Abby and I met and we had gone through the Better Cities for Pets assessment. And one thing we did find is that we do need a little bit more survey information to proceed with some of the answers. Um, are you just looking for a general, are we a, a better city for pets or what, what information would you like? How about uh, that first piece that you mentioned, the whole idea, are we a, a good city for pets? So, um, as a whole, I feel like we're moving in the correct direction. I think one of the big um, obstacles that we found is are obviously in housing, um, also in um, how well our city works with our shelter. Our shelter has a lot of programs in place and ready to go. But when it asks, is your, does your city have certain things? The answer has been no quite often. So I think partnering the shelter and the city would be incredibly beneficial for everyone, especially our pets and pet owners. Um, I think an outreach program that the city backs to help people be more educated would be a wonderful idea. Um, I think that one of the things we were looking over were are our, our, our businesses, especially downtown, where there are more people, are they pet friendly? And we didn't have a ton of information about that, but we did notice that quite a few of the newer developments are increasing in pet friendliness in that area. So I think we're moving in the right direction, um, but I think there's definitely some things that we can work on and we, we have a, a little list going of that too. And then I would just add, so as part of the survey um, committee, if we could work with you, you know, in putting together some of the questions that maybe we don't have the easiest access to those answers, um, that would be really helpful. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else. Can you send those proposed questions on to that committee then? Sure. That'd be great. Absolutely. Any other insights you'd like to share about the assessment so far? Um, I think it'll be interesting to see, you know, what people come back with in terms of, you know, what pets are you, or what businesses are you able to bring your pets to work with you? Um, what establishments allow you to bring your pets in? I think some of that anecdotally we know, but I think a lot of that will come from the community. Um, so I'm curious to see what I don't know about in terms of pet friendliness. Um, yeah, reaching out to other stakeholders, other shelters, other rescues. Um, yeah, it should be interesting. Thank you, Abby. Anyone else have any other insights they'd like to share? I have a question. Yes, go ahead. It's a, when you when you were talking about businesses, what businesses allow us, are you talking about like bring your pet to work businesses? Or are you talking about businesses where you would uh, go to do like retail businesses where you would go to do shopping and bring your pets in with you? Both. I'm not, I'm not clear with that. On that. All of the above. Yeah. So um, one, of the, one of the pages is um, estimated number of pet-focused businesses in your area. So like do we have pet daycares? Do we have pet stores? And then it's um, local restaurants that are pet friendly and then local restaurants or retailers that are pet friendly and then um, hotels that are pet friendly. Like how many hotels do we have that allow pets? We, we don't actually have that answer. 
Um, and then workplaces that allow text at, at the office. That's a, a big one, I think. I think when right. when people are dealing with like separation anxiety, and that's the big reason that we see a lot of animals at the shelter is they're turned in because they can't spend that much time away from their owner, or it's a really long process to get used to. So I think that one thing that we could kind of like, and there's a question about, do you have incentives for workplace workplaces allowing pets in, in the area? So, and I know that there are some businesses that don't, don't even allow pets on the property. Like when we have events, it's hard to get a, an okay to bring them there in person. So I think it's a wide range of who allows pets and who doesn't. Okay. Good question. And, and also why. Yeah. Good. Good question, Christine. Thank you for the information, Kate. Well, if you're ready, let's move on to the next item on the agenda, and that's the uh, review of pet ordinances. I'll take that one, Mike. Um, I think that part of the process that we're going through, we should take a look at all the ordinances that have been passed and are active right now, and the city ordinances that deal with pets. So I'll be preparing a file with uh, all of those ordinances for you to review, and then we may want to uh, have a separate subcommittee or schedule some discussion on these and see if there's uh, any changes that we feel we need to uh, bring to the council for approval to again meet our goals to be a pet friendly community. So that's something that'll be coming up at a future meeting. Thank you, Mayor. Well, I'm looking at our agenda, and that's the last item that I see for today's meeting. Um, I'm looking that our next meeting is on September 30th. And if there are no other questions, um, first I'd like to thank you all for attending. Um, this is a, a wonderful thing that we're doing, and I'm saying that from a selfish perspective because I have uh, two corgis at home, and as of this Saturday, we're going to have number three, so we'll have three corgis. All right. God, God help us all. Um, <laughs> well, at this time, I, I guess uh, let's uh, move for adjournment. One of you guys want to make a motion? One of you, please make a motion to adjourn. Abby? So moved. A second? A second. Okay. Our meeting will be adjourned then. Thank you very much for attending and hope to see you in person soon. <laughs>